Hey guys, Daniel Beatty here. I just wanted to show you a quick tutorial on an issue I had with Premiere Pro that plagued my edits for the longest time. And it has to do with a um with a default keyboard shortcut. And if you're anything like me, I usually use JKL, the JKL keys to navigate. And right beside the L there's a semicolon. Now what I found out is the semicolon um, is lift. So if you know what lift is, like it's under sequence right up here. Um, it's normally set as a semicolon. As you can see here, I took it out of mine. But if you've got like if you've got certain tracks highlighted, like I have A1 and then V1, but it could be like different ones that highlight different areas. So let's just for the sake of this example, let's have A1 and A2 connected here. So, yeah, as you can see, they're all highlighted here. If you're working and you accidentally hit semicolon, which is lift, it takes out everything. And for a long time, it plagued my edits because I have a tendency to sometimes forget that the in and out points are set here. And I could be working somewhere over here and then like, you know, I'm going across, you know, doing my edits, doing my thing. And then when I'm going, when I'm going L, I mean to push L to go forward here, but then I accidentally push semicolon, which is right beside. And like, let's just say I accidentally hit it. It's gone. You don't know it's gone because you're over in a different part of the timeline. And then you go out all the way and you just notice like holy crap this big chunk is gone here so I'm gonna control Z that so I'm gonna show you two things how to take that out so you go under keyboard shortcuts which is under edit keyboard shortcuts um, you're gonna type in lift oops I put life I don't know why um, so you go lift here it's gonna say semicolon just for the sake here it's set up to clear it yeah it's just the X so you go lift and then you click the X button so that takes care of that now the second thing if we did lose a bunch of edits over here instead of redoing them again you can re-import them it's a weird workaround and it's a very lengthy and repetitive process but it'll work <laughs> Okay, so in my case, I just did one here uh, just to help me be able to explain the process here. So let's say, you, let's say you still have some audio left from whatever you lost. So double, you're going to want to double click, bring up whatever the source code is for the endpoint. This is important here. So control C to copy. And then just keep in mind mentally what the in and out duration is. So in my case, it's 3225. 3225. Go to part 2, MP4. 3225. You're going to want to control V, which brings up your next endpoint. Click in. Bloody hell. 30, 3225. Plus 32.25. Okay, there's your out point. You're going to set that up. So there's your next clip. So you want to bring from the video so that you can bring everything back in as it was. Make sure it snaps to the left. And then as you can see, it matches from there to there as it came in. It, it's going to be different for you. Like, obviously, in my case, I have to do an extra step and take this out because this is all blank audio because it imported weird for some reason um, so ignore all this little stuff I'm doing at the end here oops ignore all this little stuff I'm doing at the end here perfect okay so that's done so this is just it's a pain in the ass and if it happens to you this is how you fix it but as you're editing <laughs> make sure you double check that you have for one you have lift deleted the keyboard shortcut for the lift make sure that is deleted and also make sure your in and out points are gone 
so clear the in and out point. But for now, I'm going to have to keep going through this because as you can see, I have a lot I need to fix up here. But this was my method I found to just make sure that you can keep your edits without having to, you know, redo them from scratch again. So I hope this helps, guys. I know this is a bit of a convoluted uh, way of showing you guys, but this is what worked for me. Hopefully it works for you guys. Thanks so much for watching, and if you like this kind of content, let me know with a thumbs up. Uh, give me a comment down below, and then, yeah. All right, guys. Have a good one, and see you in the next one. Take care.